Hi, my name's Jenny Steele, this is Black Visions TV and we are live at Miss Jamaica UK. Tonight, Gemma Fia, who is the current Miss Jamaica UK, will be handing over her crown. It's very, very busy, as you can see, so we're going to go backstage. Okay, so we're here behind the scenes of Miss Jamaica UK and we're here with... Maria, aka Scorpio, uh, just to let you know, I was a runner-up at 2010 Miss Jamaica and I'm here today to represent everybody else. <laughs> you are looking good, girl. So what are you going to be doing tonight? I'll be performing my first single, which is called Make It Count. Uh, it was actually played on Hollyoaks, Box Nation, and I'm here to launch my mixtape called Call of Beauty. Our Call of Beauty, whenever the men read it, they like to think booty, but it's beauty. Whatever. Absolutely fantastic. So you was a runner-up? I was, I was. You gonna ever? You think you'll ever enter again? No, not again. No, you know the experience. You try it once. I've tried it. Let me move on to something else now. But I wish all the girls the best of luck. Everybody's looking fantastically stunning. So good luck. Absolutely amazing. Well, we're looking forward to watching you perform. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Gemma, <laughs> the current Miss Jamaica. How are you feeling tonight? Fabulous, honestly, I feel really good and excited to hand over my title and my crown. And you have had an amazing year. Tell us a little bit about what you've been up to. Gosh, where do I start? <laughs> I've organised my own promotional tour. I've managed to get myself sponsorship to go to Jamaica, of course, because that's all I wanted to do, represent and continue to be an ambassador. So I've had fun, you know. I've got to meet incredible people. I've got to just enjoy the culture and everything about Jamaica. Now, you've done some work at a school, haven't you, out there? Yeah. Tell I've us done, a little bit about that. I've done work in um, children's homes, hospitals, schools, um, mustard seed children's home to, to name one, and Operation Restoration, Christian School, Excelsior. I mean, literally, I've had my fair share of Jamaica <laughs> four <laughs> times this year and a fifth one on the cards for next month. So. I'll tell you what, it ain't a bad life, is it? <laughs> it's not, no, not when you put in work, you know, it, it really is kind of that experience where you get out what you put in and I put in a hell of a lot. <laughs> now Gemma, to any of the young women that are watching today that are thinking to themselves they want to take part in a pageant, just tell us a little bit about how they can actually step into it and what challenges you might have faced. Sure, well I think obviously it starts from inside, you've got to really be confident in yourself and also just begin to understand your true self because that's what's going to shine through on stage and you really need that sense of understanding and belief as well. Um, I'm not saying I was 100% confident on the night, no, <laughs> but I was confident in my, myself, you know, I stood firm and I represented everything I believe in and it came from the heart. So really, if you've got passion about your island or your heritage, which I'm sure you all have, um, well, you know, get involved, enter a pageant. It's a huge platform, even if it's not for you. I mean, I was at uni, graduated, and then I didn't imagine beauty pageants, but it worked for me. <laughs> so it could work for you as well, I suppose. Oh, you know what? We're here with Gemma Fear. You know what? You've had an amazing year, and I know I'm going to see a lot, lot, lot more of you. And uh, your dress. Where's the dress Thank from? You. Where is the dress from? Best of both boutique, fantastic oh, boutique, so yes, cool. in Forest Hill, you have to check them out, they've just launched a website as well, but find them on Twitter, tell them I sent you, and show them some love, because they've got some incredible <laughs> statement designs, so yeah. You look absolutely amazing, I'm looking forward to you handing over your crown, but also seeing a lot more from you in 2013. Thank you, I'm so humbled. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. <laughs> Enjoy yeah. the end of the evening. You too. Look on that girl there. She a me. She like me. Yo, me a search for a real and girl and now me just fine one. She recharge just like a gold and diamond. Now I tell her no because me and a Simon. My bamboo tree, the girls them want climb on. Them said that me a spirit of the right one. After hours with the girl, them are the mice man. Five girl, me got to lie down from me dive and me just realize, say, girl, are you me? You hotter than them girl there. You hotter than them girl there. Cause if you win another girl, used to be a player.
yeah. Me and so have a lot of girls, but I'm more of it introduced to me. You was so unique, you was like no other like birds of a feather. Let's just flop together. Me no care about the time, me no matter about the weather. My love is not fear, cause. So we're here, the makeup artist for this evening. Uh, Marika Hall. And I'm Obeda. How long did it take you today to work on the lovely ladies backstage? Oh, for the ladies we did, it was about two hours. Yeah, about an hour and a half to two hours for the ladies that we did today. From what you've seen of all of the pageants that you got, I mean, seriously, you guys are the makeup pageant queens from now on. That's how I'm going to salute you. <laughs> what would you say to any other makeup artists that want to get involved in pageants but don't know who to talk to? Well, I would say don't wait for anyone to contact you. Contact people. If you have to do it for free, do it for free. Because, uh, well, that's how I started out, by just contacting people. If I see something I like, I just contact you. And if they say, you know, okay, we've already got people, so, so I'll do it for free. <laughs> and if you do it for free, you're guaranteed to get something <laughs> done, you know. <laughs> so I just just contact people they can either say yes either say no what what's the harm well i hope to see you guys at more pageants nice to meet you both well, let me see you now. Jamaica. 
All of these are fine examples of not only our accomplishments that can be concealed by the media, but also the diversity of our skills that don't only revolve around sports. A fine example of tackling this is by being here today, supporting the Mission Maker UK pageant that has been successfully running for over 20 years. Whether you're here to support the pageant or contestant yourself, we are all here taking that first step to promote and overcome this stereotypical view of the media and hereby promoting the existing and the future of the success of our Jamaican heritage. Thank you. If you were asked to change the community where you live, what would you do? I think I would start by looking at the way in which the council uses the money that they make through our taxes. Not to say that they don't use it for a positive way, but I think the most important thing is our youths, because they are our future. They are our future economy, they are our future workforce, and they are going to be running our country at some point, so it's important that we work very hard on it. And I think a great way to start would be to opening youth clubs. Because here they would be able to get involved in extracurricular activities that they wouldn't be able to get involved in in school. And as we all know, school isn't for everybody. And this can lead to children dropping out of school, or even worse, still getting involved in gang crimes, and knife crimes, and gun crimes. And not to say that this is something in my community, but I know that this is very much present in other people's communities. And unfortunately, there is a massive stigma connected to the use of this generation. And if we are going to make a difference and eradicate this completely, we should start by opening up new plans. Okay, so, oh my God, backstage is really exciting. We are down to the last five, so very, very shortly we're gonna find out what's going on. The girls are tired, they're hungry, they're resting, they've got their shoes off. It's been an amazing night. I'm looking forward to telling you who the top five are. So we're here backstage with the final five, and you are? Sherelle Rose Patterson. Aisha Weiss Forbes. Leia Johnson. Michelle Stewart. Miriam Lee. And the current Miss Jamaica UK, <laughs> Gemma Fair. <laughs> and presenting the award of the morning is the 2012 second runner up for Miss Jamaica UK, Sharika Miller. Sharika Miller from 2012. Miss Jamaica UK 2012 third runner up. She presented the trophy as the We're here with third runner-up Miriam. How are you? I'm really good. I'm feeling so happy, honestly. <laughs> 
I was smiling so much and it was so good to see all my family out there and everything. So it was really You are going to have an amazing, amazing journey. Are you looking forward to it? <laughs> yeah, I really am. I really am. Is yeah. anyone you want to thank? Um, just everybody who's been in this competition helping us and June who did so much for the competition. It's just, it was such an amazing experience. You know what? Well done. And where is, where is your dress from? I, it's from Fontill Road, actually. There's really nice dresses on that street. <laughs> you should check it out. <laughs> you know what? Congratulations, oh, and we look forward to seeing everything that you're going to get up to next year. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we're here with first runner-up, Michelle. How are you feeling? I'm really overwhelmed right now. I'm speechless. I'm really speechless. And this is your first pageant, isn't it? It is my first pageant, indeed. Are you excited about the things that you're going to be getting up to? Yeah, I'm really optimistic how I can use this to my advantage and obviously to better myself and Jamaica and Jamaican people. So we've got a lot of things to look out for you for. We do. You know what? Fantastic. Congratulations and well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here with the winner of Miss Jamaica UK 2013. How are you feeling? I actually still can't believe it. When they called my name, I was... I just didn't know what to do and still now I just feel like I'm in a dream world. It's amazing, amazing. Are you excited about the prospects of what you're going to get up to next year? Definitely excited and I'm a hard worker so I know that I'm going to bring myself a lot of luck and open myself a lot of doors. Now is this your first pageant? This isn't my first pageant actually, no. Um, I've done Miss Universe Great Britain as well and I came top five. Ooh. And you know, to do Miss Jamaica UK for me, is amazing and even better because I'm representing my country. You know what? Your dress is gorgeous. <laughs> Tell us just a little bit about who you are and what you do. Um, I was born in London. I'm 24 and my parents, they are from Manchester and Mandeville, Jamaica. I'm a full-time model on QVC shop oh, sorry, shopping channel as well. <laughs> Well, you know what? Congratulations. Well deserved. Check out this crown. Oh, look at it. It's amazing. <laughs> we look forward to seeing a lot more from you. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for everyone's support as well that supported me tonight as well. It feels amazing. Thank you so much. My name's Sherelle Rose Patterson and I'm the new Miss Jamaica 2013 and you're watching Black Visions TV. Hey.